Welcome everybody. Today we are talking about archiving planner pages. Today we are talking about um, archiving your planner pages. Okay, so the first thing I did, I'm going to tell you what I do, and then um, you know, and then if you have any questions, just let me know. But I'm just going to share what I personally do. I never used to do archiving. I used, I mean, I didn't consider archiving. I just kind of threw my old calendars and planners in a drawer and just for safekeeping. That's what I was doing. And then, you know, I, st I heard people talk about archiving. So then um, I thought, oh, I definitely think that's a good idea. And so on my previous um, uh, planner pages, if you go into my shop, the basic blue planner pages have a space down the side of them where you can write the month and the date and then any other information that you want to write. It's like a dedicated spot. And in the simple pages, I have left that off to keep the simple pages a little bit cleaner. The first thing I did was before I archive anything, is I go through each and every page of my planner, like the whole thing. And I've already done that, so I don't have to bore you with that. And I look through anything that um, I haven't accomplished or completed and then I make a choice to either you know do away with it and and um like skip it it doesn't it isn't necessary or move it to an appropriate spot so I can um get it done you know and so and so I've already done that this is the part that I want to show you okay so what I do is I just take all of the pages or all of the weekly pages, and if I've used any daily pages or anything like that, and then I just simply fold January around it. You can see that that's January, and I'm gonna just tuck this inside here. And then the same thing with February. I'm gonna take that and then tuck these in here. Let's see, all the way to and then this, okay, now we're down to, yeah. And then I fold that over, okay. Then, and then I'm gonna pull these out. So now I have January and February together. Okay, now, if you remember in February, I did, I had a Valentine's video where I showed this little freebie. And, um, and then this is the Oscars. And then I, oh, that's something else. That's from, that's from the Super Bowl. I don't know. Okay, there's March. Let's save March. Okay, that's from the Super Bowl. Let's put it back here. You know what I'm thinking about is I don't know where my Super Bowl planner is. Okay. Okay, let me see here. Okay, there it is. It is, okay, the Super Bowl's already in here, which is a good thing. That's not the Super Bowl. There it is. And I'm saying Super Bowl, but what I mean is the game plan. Okay, so that is good. Okay, so let's take these out. And that'll give me a bunch of space to add all my new pages. And we'll take this out and we'll leave that. Okay. Okay, and so that's what it looks like. Here's February and, or I mean, uh, January. Here's January. Here's February. I'll just line them up. I'll show you my, my um, filing system. Okay, so I'm so excited here because I just stumbled upon these planner Kate stickers that I had forgotten about, and they are like absolutely perfect for um, 
for labeling the months and for archiving um, planner pages. So what I did was um, I went through each of these and I just put the labels on all of them January through March and actually I did all the way to December and then um, I have two 2019s so I'll put one on January and then as you can see I've done that and then one on December and um, this is going to work out really great for what I'm doing as you can see here I've put it on put the labels on all of the pages I am so excited that this worked out as you can see it's so much cleaner and clearer than the way I was doing it before and um, these stickers came as a freebie with the last order that I got from her and um, they worked out really great so I pulled out 2018 so that I could show you all what that looks like and it's um, all these pieces here um, with the rubber band wrapped around them and the loose pieces are a few pieces for 2019. In 2018 I was using my basic blue line of planning pages and you can see here I have I have on those pages a space for you to put the the month and the year and um so that's what I did was on those pages there's a spot where you can just write it in and on the simple pages there is not I've tried to keep that as clean as possible and then that gives you the flexibility of being able to um, put it at the bottom or put it at the top of the page or I guess the left or the right and also um, if you don't want to do that then it's nice and clean and clear and I really like how it's working out okay so um, these pages here are um, 2019 the January February and March of 2019 and I'm gonna set these aside and then that will show you the rest of this is all 2018 and um, I don't think that's too bad but that's how thick it is just like a planner um, the thickness of a, a standard planner and um, so um, that just gives you an idea yours doesn't have to be this thick you could just only keep certain you know like month pages or certain special pages that m mean a lot to you if you don't want to to hold on to this much but um anyway that's what it looks like after a year uh, with using the planners that I use okay so this is the drawer where I keep all of my archived planners and um, calendars and stuff and um, it goes from 2015 on the right side to 2019 on the left side I discovered when I was organizing this that I had like in 2015 and 16 that's right around this time that when I was um, starting my shop and I was definitely trying to find my way with planners and stuff and um, so I had tried some different things okay so once I got everything organized I used these tabs to um, mark the years so I could um, pick them out easily when I was looking through the drawer and what I did was I just um, wrote the year on there like 2019 and then I bent it you know the colored part bent it so that when that I could see it when I was looking down into the drawer without having to move things around too much and that has worked out very very well and I think I got these at um, Target but it has been a long time ago like probably two maybe even three years ago but um, anyway I just think it's helpful to the whole point is that I think it's helpful to mark the spaces and then as you can see here I have um, plenty of space in this drawer I will be able to add 2019 without too much problem but then at some point I'm gonna have to um, go through and uh, make some decisions about what to keep and if I should get rid of anything but I can get 2019 in there pretty well and if I wanted to um, at the top of the drawer or the back of the drawer I could probably fit um, a couple more years if I wanted to do it that way the whole point here is that you know keeping your um, old planners 
and calendars is really a good idea. I think many, many people do that. And then I'm sure there's some that just like toss them out and that's not a big deal. But if you do, just take a moment. I, this took me like a weekend or so, maybe a little more than that, to um, set up. But I already had everything in the drawer. I just really had to just clean it up and label some things. And that was pretty much it. But it has it has been really helpful for me to do that. I got to see the history of um, where I've come from over the years, which I hadn't really thought too much about. And then... Um, and now I have, you know, everything's like organized and easy for me to maintain uh, moving forward in the next few years. We started archiving in 2018. However, as you can see, I held on to all of my stuff and um, it was pretty much mostly like this. I mean, I put rubber bands on things to divide things up and I organized it you know, so that it was in the proper order. And I pulled in, like, this is one of the books, I think I say in one of my videos that I tried a recollections planner and I did, and I want to keep that. And I want to remember, I almost threw that out. And I was like, that's stupid. It's part of a history. Plus as a planner, you know, I, you know, and creating pages, I like to hold on to that structure and style of planner. And I love this planner. It's not that I didn't love it. It's just, you know, I really prefer the buy situation. Okay, so anyway, I think that's all I needed to tell you this about. This bucket is where I'm keeping all of the planners that and calendars that do not fit in that drawer. And so, um, clearly you can see it's like jam. And as I was going through this, I realized that, um, actually I could condense the binder is what I originally used this as before. It was actually the year that I decided to um, start an Etsy shop. And um, I love it because it's like, it's a, you know, back then people were doing household binders. That was like the trend. And you would see, you know, a lot of people talking about that in their blogs and stuff. And um, so I did one too and I loved it. But anyway, the point is that um, so that was done before I started and that's kind of like the beginning starts of me, um, creating pages for myself and I had done them before this, but this is where I was starting to put a binder plan of sort of together. And, um, and then these two, um, you can see it's Christmas and fall of 2014 and these were the, um, this is, let me say that right. This is Thanksgiving and this is Christmas. Not that it matters. But these are 2014 and 2015 is in these binders. And actually, now that I'm looking at all this, I think possibly what I can do is go through and condense these, these two down into these two. And that would save me a lot of space. So I may do that. Actually, what I was doing here with the Thanksgiving and the Christmas planners, I, um, or the binders, um, I was um, using... I created the two green ones actually in 2014 and my intention was to continue to use those same um those same binders year after year and then I was going to pull out um each year and then put them archive them away and then use them over and over year after year but I switched to um from having a separate planner binder to now having my planner, my holiday planner pages in the back of my regular everyday planner. And even if I go back to having a um, separate binder for Christmas and for Thanksgiving, I don't know that I will, but I could decide to do that. Then I would just use either a half size or an A5 binder to make that happen and not go back to the big binders. Okay, so that's my system. Basically what I do is when I'm uh, finished with a month, I go through my planner and I update and check every that everything has been completed or needs to be moved to another space. Then I, I put together all of the pages, the weekly pages, the daily pages, and then any other 
like planner event pages that I might have like uh, the holidays or whatever and I tuck them all together and then I will either take that bundle of pages and put them I have a um inbox that's marked archive and I will put them in there I didn't show that in this video but I could definitely show that to you it's just a simple inbox and it says archive on it and um and then or I will just put them directly into this drawer and um, it just depends on what's going on. And um, and then after a while, if I see the buildup in that in that inbox, then I will take the whole whole bunch of them and archive them. So, and then that's the system. And then right now, I recently have gone through everything and cleared it out. So each year in the in uh, when I'm updating my planner, I will go through my what I have. Um, archived and just see if I need to kick anything out and if everything if there's plenty of room I'm not going to do that I decided I will just only do that when I'm running out of room and then I'll just take the bigger chunks and see if there's anything that I can pitch so anyway that's the system and I hope that uh, you found it helpful and thank you so much for stopping by Look, everybody, I don't even have my camera set up yet, and we already have Tinksy snooping around. Hello, Tinksy. I know. I know. She wants to get in that drawer over there because she was snooping around last time. And um, when I was organizing um, all those planners, I had them all out and she was able to hop in. But now, of course, you can imagine I don't want to pull all those out after all that work. But Tinks would love to get in that drawer. That's not happening today, Tinks. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know. You tell everybody. Okay, so Tinks is content and my chair over here. Thank you.